Hey, my name is Emily Thomas and I help entrepreneurs and small businesses build successful Wix websites. And today I wanted to share with you one of the most important things I think is needed for websites in 2022. So if you are someone who is looking to build a website, you are always looking to make your website better, or you're just learning about how to do website design, these will be very helpful to you. So I have a list on my website of 10 of the most important things your website needs for 2022. So you can go ahead and download that with the link below. It's emdesigncode.com slash 10. Those are totally free. And I thought I would just feature my favorite one and the one that I think is most important for 2022. So here it is. Your website needs to have simplicity, it needs to be simple, it needs to be really, really easy for your customers and your viewers to navigate. Simplicity is important because we live in kind of a chaotic world and it's actually become more and more chaotic over the last, I don't know, three years or so. And so people's lives are really hectic and people are looking for a place or a product or service that's simple and easy to use. They don't have enough brain energy or space in their life to take on something that's gonna take time for them to learn or to navigate or to manage. They just want something easy, okay, and straightforward. So they're gonna see that in the design. So if your site is really cluttery, people are gonna show up and say, there ain't no way I'm looking at this. This is too much work for me. I can't, I can't navigate the site, it's too messy. So there's three areas in which you need to implement simplicity in your website. Number one, you need simplicity of design. So you want to make sure that you have breathing room around all of your elements. Nothing needs to be squished. You don't need things running off the page. You need everything to have breathing room. So when someone comes to your website, they take a deep breath and they know, okay, this is simple. I can work through the information here. I don't need to be overwhelmed. And then they have a good relationship with you and your product from the very beginning, which is so important. So let me show you here a site that I have built for one of my clients. And I'm gonna show you a few today, but this one I love because it's so straightforward and simple. There's a lot of information on here, but there's a lot of breathing room around the information. So as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff here. You know, we have a slider, we have their family photo, we have the menu here, but there's a lot of white space. I think one of the biggest problems I see in design is that people will build like a brochure or a web page, and they'll have their information all over the edge. Well, that looks terrible and it makes your brain kind of stress a little bit and you definitely don't want to have that happen with your customers, okay? So here, everything is really laid out simply but still branded so it all sticks with their design and it all looks like their brand but it all goes together and it's still simple, okay? So that is one of the most important things I think you could do in design. Also, I wanted to mention that it's really important to stick with your color palette, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen again. We're going to look at another um, website example. So let's go to Flexible Fasting. So this color palette is also green, totally different audience, totally different um, messaging. You know, this is for fasting and the other one's for eating beef. So, you know, it doesn't really matter exactly what you're aiming for, sometimes the color works across the board. So this one's more of a bright green, but as you can see here, everything in the site goes with the color palette and all the fonts remain the same throughout everything. So you just wanna make sure that you have simple fonts, simple colors, and simple designs. You don't want to bring in a whole lot of um, bells and whistles because yeah, they're cool, but only if they're used in a very tasteful way. So there's a lot of things you can do. I use Wix because I think it's awesome and I have a lot of videos about that. There's a lot of things you can do in Wix that look terrible, okay? Just because it's there doesn't mean you should use it. You shouldn't animate every single object. You shouldn't add a texture to every background or a video background to everything. You just need to keep it really simple, okay? So all of this, as you can see, everything is on brand. That's simple. If this was all different fonts, different colors, my viewers would show up here and they'd be like, get me out of here. I can't decipher this, right? Okay, so let's talk about the next step in simplicity and that's keeping the functionality simplistic. So we talk about functionality. What is your site's purpose? Is your site to make money or do you just want people to come there and read information? So for a lot of us, we need to make money on our sites, right? So let's go to the rusticpatch.com. Okay, this is another one of my clients. And we need to be very straightforward. So when you come here to their site, they have a slider here that just kind of goes through a little welcome and what they offer. But you, you come down here and you can see they have new items, boxes for sale, door charms, DIY door charm kits, apparel, pantry, shop our newest arrivals. They're giving you 
what you need to do next because when someone goes to the rustic patch chances are they're either looking to shop all of these different items they're looking for their boxes the home decor monthly box send a hug box they are looking for classes or private parties or they're looking to learn more about the rustic patch now I don't want to hurt your feelings, but chances are they're not coming to read about your team or your photo gallery. They're coming to get what they need and get out. So you want to make sure that you get them in that sales funnel. You want to make sure that you get them into the next step, into the next step, and then move them through the process until they are a lifelong dedicated customer. So make sure their functionality is very easy to move through and it's easy for you to have them sign up or to pay you. So if you don't have an option for customers to purchase your product or pay you on your site you're missing out and you need to get that right away okay the next thing is probably the hardest thing to keep simple and that is messaging so you need to make sure that your messaging is very very simple so that's talking about your content your content let's go to regearcopy.com your content is all of the information that you put about your product okay your content needs to be well thought through because people aren't going to take time this right here is actually a little bit long for a paragraph but we had to have it okay like this is important information it takes a lot of work and brain power on our end and on your end as the builder to make something really concise and well thought out and just use a couple sentences instead of a paragraph because honestly this is as long as anything should be on your site you do not need an entire story about your service but your manifesto about all that you know you just need to be straightforward and then offer your product to your person okay you need to know your person you need to give them their product they have lots to do they don't want to spend time learning about things that they honestly it's not going to help you make a sale so you need to already build a relationship with them before they even get here through social media through um free opt-ins and you know connecting with them in other ways and then when they get here you need to move them through the process of purchasing your product. So your content needs to be on point and very simple. Take the time to simplify. Number two, your brand. We already talked about this. Your logo, your colors, your fonts, your style needs to be very succinct, very straightforward, and everything on your site needs to look like it belongs on your site. Okay. I cannot stress how important that is. You need to also make sure that you're very um, tuned in to who your avatar is, who your audience is. Okay. And then you need to just make sure that all of these things go together. You need to make sure that your avatar, your person you're reaching, um, your brand needs to speak to them. Your content needs to speak directly to that person, okay? So that's very, very important. If you have any questions about this, I also have a free download on my site. It's part of my five-day website intensive where I will build your starter site in five days. And so I'm giving you the first step for free so anybody can start out. And basically what it is, is it is a step-by-step -step process where you can fill in your content and brand. It's like building your content and branding package that I would need to build a starter site. And from there, you can build your starter site with my DIY course, or you can email me or go on my website and you can opt in to be a part of that five day website intensive where we get your site done in five days. That would be incredible, right? So go visit my website if that's something that interests you. Also, I'll mention again that there are 10 things I think are very important to have on your website in 2022. And those are available at mdesigncode.com slash 10. So thank you all for joining me today. And I hope that this video is helpful to you. Um, leave any questions in the comments. and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. And happy designing.